So let us discuss about the derivation of Gauss's law. Gauss's law. For that, let us consider a point charge Q placed at the point O. Right. Consider a point charge locate point charge Q located at at the point O. So in order to find uh, the expression for the Gauss's theorem, we need to consider a Gaussian surface for a point charge, a spherical Gaussian surface is convenient. So let's draw a spherical Gaussian surface. And let us consider a point P at, at the surface of the Gaussian surface, such that the radius or the distance from the point O to P B R or radius of the sphere. Now, this charge will produce an electric field in a direction perpendicular to the surface. We, we know that fact that electric field is always perpendicular to the surface. And let us consider an area surrounding the point P like this. Let's call that area as ds and we also know its direction will be normal to the surface ds. And we have by definition electric flux electric flux through this small area ds let's call that as d phi will be dot product of electric field and area vector. But you know the angle between E is parallel to E is parallel to ds which means angle theta is 0 therefore d phi will be E ds cos 0 degree implies d phi equal to E ds. Let's call that as equation number 1. So in order to find the total electric field electric flux or electric flux we must integrate the equation 1 that is E ds. Clear. Now if you do this you will get phi is equal to integral we have the expression for electric field is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 charge divided by r square times ds. Therefore, phi is equal to, since this 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is a constant, you can take that out. Also, the charge Q remains constant and for a sphere, the radius remains constant. So that you can take this whole term out, 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0, Q divided by R square integral ds. This can be simplified as, phi is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 q divided by r square into integral ds means the total surface area that is s s is equal to total surface area of a sphere is 4 pi r square so this times 4 pi r square clear means integral ds equal to s equal to 4 pi r square. So you can cancel this 4 pi also this r square and the final expression will be phi equal to q by epsilon 0. And this is the Gauss's theorem or you can write this as phi equal to 1 by epsilon 0 times q. So what Gauss's theorem states that is the electric flux through a hypothetical or spherical or any Gaussian surface will be 1 by epsilon 0 times the charge enclosed by that surface. Here in this case it is sphere. So the electric flux through this spherical surface is 1 by epsilon 0 times the charge enclosed by that sphere. Clear. Okay.